Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. Welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional. This is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all. So without further delay, let's start the today's topic. And today's topic is very important for me uh, in terms of uh, the different features which Microsoft is releasing. This is going to be a very impactful feature. So we're going to talk about the business performance analytics today and this is going to really help a lot of customers and also to us as consultant when we go and talk about reporting to our customers in Microsoft Dynamics 365. So let's start with this. What is <clears throat> business performance analytics uh, is? So business performance analytics, if I say, uh, I mean, in terms of like how it is going to make an impact. So it's an impactful outcome with the advanced analytics. So it lets the finance team easily access comprehensive and timely data. And in this way, it streamlines routine financial reporting, task automations, and significantly reduce the time, uh, reduce the cycle times. So, so it is going to provide a very timely data to help the finance team. The next thing which I think is, is uh, is turning the data how it is going to happen so it is going to turn the data into the action to improve the business performance so we know that <clears throat> in every organization we have uh, uh, outdated data sources recommended tools which hinders their ability to extract integrate and analyze the data very effectively so to address these issues a robust data warehouse solution uh, was required and that is what is being my, um, uh, Microsoft has uh, designed using this business performance analytics. So which means the business performance analytics is based on the uh, <clears throat> based on the data data warehouse, uh, which is uh, which comes with a different uh, advantages. So uh, it it gives you the centralized reporting. Uh, it make it more efficient, the reporting process, it enhances the analytics and it also helps you in uh, complying towards the regulatory requirements. <clears throat> How you are going to install this? So for installing this, uh, first thing is it is still in a, a preview phase. So and uh, if you still want to use this, so it will it is available uh, from the 10.0.38 version onwards and then you need to have a, a tier 2 box for this. Apart from that, there are some prerequisites which you need to have it and if you are using different function, different features from Microsoft around the Copilot AI and other things, so by now you will have all these things already configured in your environment uh, like setting up the different privileges having a, a, a Microsoft Enter tenant, uh, uh, config, con, uh, configuring the Power Apps uh, user, which is enabled in your D6 Finance or not. Then you have the Power Platform Admin Center, uh, which is being configured for your with your LCS or not. Once that is done, the, the next thing which you need to do is that once you have these prerequisites available, you need to you need to install the app uh, like any other app in the Power Platform Admin Center. And to install the app, right now Microsoft has provided a link where you can register your uh, interest, and they are going to provide you uh, the <coughs> they are going to provide you the uh, the 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 options for like how you can uh, request this particular uh, app link. So when you go to your uh, business learn portal of business performance analytics you will find an option here where you can see that uh, you can fill out your basic details and microsoft is going to share the url of the app, app, app source to download this particular app now once you get that uh, uh, that that email from microsoft and uh, you are going to log into your <coughs> Uh, you are going to log into your Power Platform Admin Center and in the Power Platform Admin Center, once you enable that, like you are going to have this way, the business performance analytics, which is available in your environment. So once that is enabled, uh, you are good to go about your <coughs> about about uh, using this Microsoft uh, uh, business performance analytics tool. 
so once the the once it is uh, installed uh, the next thing is which i want to talk about is that how this is going to work so now we understood that this is based on the data warehouse solution and now it has been modeled right so now when it has been modeled so what are the different key components which we have in this and what are the basics which we need to understand because when we want to generate or create a new report we need to understand these two components <clears throat> so there are two key components which we have it in the data warehouse or for the data modeling one is the fact table and another one is the dimension table now the definition of the fact table is the central table in a dimensional model containing the quantitative data for the analysis which means anything which has the quantitative uh, uh, thing so for example you can have uh, something about the amount you can have something about the quantity so so these are the things which uh, which are which you can call it as a fact so for example sales amount the quantity you sold now this is what on which you want to analyze your data that's the fact but how you want to analyze how you want to slice and dice this data is comes from your dimension table so the dimension table is that it stores the descriptive attributes related to the fact so now if i have sales amount quantity sold and if i have a customer by which i want to analyze so in the customer i will have more attribute so that customer table will become my uh, dimension table now how it is going to help that i can analyze the sales amount by the customer group the customer location customer segment so it is giving me more slice and uh, more options to do the slice and dice about my data and that is where these two concepts are very important for us to understand when we are defining any uh, uh, report <coughs> now how the business performance analytics has been modeled like so it comes as uh, microsoft uh, has released this uh, these data models for us now how these uh, data models has been uh, configured and defined so modeled uh, first thing is there are key things like first thing is it is uh, modeled by the business processes which we have in microsoft dynamics so we have a invoice supplier invoice process supplier payment customer invoice process customer payments or we have <clears throat> journal entries in the journal ledger so it has been modeled by the different processes which we have uh, in dynamics so it is easy for you to <clears throat> when you are defining the report it is easy for you to go and look for that okay i am looking for the data related to this business process so you can look for the fact and the dimension in that particular process the second thing is what microsoft has done is that it has uh, modeled at a <clears throat> lowest grain so which means it has captured the lowest uh, uh, granular level data uh, for the reporting so if you have a let's say invoice data which has which might have a header and the line details so it has captured the data at a line details level so that you can do your effective uh, reporting and you can define your reports with all the data sets which you require next thing which they have also done is that they have grouped these processes by the different value chain which you have it like record to report procure to pay or you can have the order to cash so these are the key things by which the business performance analytics has been modeled <coughs> now from the configuration perspective now we have uh, let's say we have installed the application now we have uh uh we have understood the concept of the fact and the dimension but the next thing which is very important for us is uh, from the security uh, security and other configuration perspective so what are the roles which we can have how we can control the access of the reports by the different users user groups how can i i mean if it it is a consolidated information which is available for all the legal entity so how can i uh, how can i control the uh, how can i control the access of different legal entity data or maybe if i want to go ahead and control my users at a cost center level department level or business unit level so how we can do all those things is 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 can be defined in the in the security and other configuration related so talking about the security now <clears throat> uh, you have got a role which you can define in the 
in in uh, BPA. Then you have the users where which you can add it. Now, uh, apart from that, you have got a concept called the dimensions and the <coughs> dimension groups. So what is dimension is that you can select up to five dimensions as of now. Dimensions are nothing but dimension security dimension is nothing but is your different uh, set of information by which you want to control. So for example, legal entity, cost center, department, business unit. These are your different security dimension by which you can control this. But then you also have got a grouping of the dimension group security where you can apply the combination of this, uh, these dimensions which you have selected that, okay, I want to have uh, this legal entity plus this business unit as a group. And if I assign it to any user, uh, that user should be able to access the data with this combination only. So that you can do it using the dimension group security. Then you configure your users. Apart from the data of uh, security, the avail data availability perspective, you have got uh, 24 hours uh, refresh time. So right now the data is not available in a real time. I hope Microsoft is going to improve on this and they are going to provide a workaround or the way to have the data in a real time or, a, in a, or, a, or on a more frequent basis. Currently, the data availability which you would see is it the current year and the past three years. So uh, <clears throat> in the demo data, when you will be exploring this, uh, as you know that most of our demo data is from 2017. So it might not, you might not see all the data set data, which is available in your system. You might just see the last three years of the four years of the data. Talking about the security, if you see it here, uh, the one example is that, let's say I have three dimensions, the legal entity cost center and the department. Now I want to have one, grouping like, okay, I want to have USMF and CNMF as a uh, entity and I want the user to access only these uh, cost centers and this department. So you can define in this way. Uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, uh, show you the demo about that how this uh, security uh, can be configured in D365 uh, for the business performance analytics. So, <clears throat> Let's talk about that, how you can access the uh, business performance analytics tool. So we will log into, let's say, in our Microsoft Dynamics 365 environment. And when you log in, you will have an option of these different features which have been released by Microsoft. And you can click on the business performance analytics. Uh, if you have, uh, if you have, let's say, uh, if you if you have uh, not installed this, if you have not configured this, then you will just see the learn page when you click on this. But if you have installed, configured, then you will see all the uh, details about this particular tool which you have it. Now here you see the reports section, but let's we will talk about this in the next part uh, of this particular video. So let's talk about the admin part here. So how we can configure the security. So you have got the uh, different options. So here you have the users. Uh, uh, you can have. You can look uh, for the different roles which you have it here. You can, if you want, you can create your new roles here. And then a key concept which I want to talk about is the dimension and the dimension group, and then how you can control the users uh, using these things. So dimension is, as I said, you can select up to five dimensions which are available in the system. Uh, so I have selected ledger, legal entity, business unit, cost center, and department. Uh, how you can select them you can by clicking on this you can just uh, go to the uh, click on this and it is going to give you the list of uh, the different dimensions which are available for you so you can uh, click on this and i'm going to close this because i have already selected some dimensions once your dimensions are selected then you have an option of uh, uh, grouping these dimensions so i have uh, you can click uh, click a new group here and but for your uh, uh, understanding purpose, I have already created one group here. So if you see here, I have created a group in that I have defined that GBSI is the legal entity and the ledger which I want to access. And I want to access only these two business unit. I want to access only with this cost center and this department data. So I have defined that what I want to, uh, I want my users to look uh, or access when this particular dimension group is being assigned. Now, once this is done, now how you assign this to your user. So you go to the users here. So you can see your uh, user here and then you can define that 
which dimension group you want this particular user to access and then you also have different roles available by default there is one role which is which you can see it like microsoft report viewer uh, which is available for you here so which allows you to uh, view these different reports which are available in uh, uh, business performance analytics out of the box so that's it for this particular video hope this is going to help us uh, in understanding what business performance analytics is how it is going to help your customer how it is being modeled the key concepts around the effect and the dimensions and then also the security configurations which we have it in the next video we are going to talk about the we are going to talk about uh, the reports that what are the different reports available how you can access and how you can duplicate or create those reports so that's it for this video thank you so much and see you in the next one